Our other top story, the latest on the COVID front. It's looking more and more like booster shots for eligible Americans will start rolling out as early as next month, September. Antoine Lewis has been following these developments. He is here now with that update. Antoine. The week of September 20th, Dan, to be exact. And while the gear up to the rollout advances, at least one major health organization feels more studies need to be done. Johnson & Johnson says a booster of its single-dose COVID-19 vaccine is proving effective against the coronavirus. The drug maker says the antibodies of people that were given a booster six to eight months after their first dose increased by ninefold. Dr. Chidibam Iloabachi, Associate Chair of Emergency Medicine at Long Island Jewish Valley Stream Hospital, calls the news promising, especially against the Delta variant. When a booster is administered, we can get immunity back up to adequate levels that people are once again protected from the Delta variant, similar to the way they were against the primary strain and the predecessor variants. The Pfizer vaccine remains the only vaccine given full approval by the FDA. Moderna has started the process while Johnson & Johnson expects to apply for full approval this fall. But the discussion on boosters has at least one major voice saying not so fast. The World Health Organization is calling into question the benefits of a COVID Thank booster, you. saying from its perspective, the data isn't there. On the boosters, first of all, it's not conclusive in terms of its benefits. And also, uh, we don't know if um, it's uh, safe, and it has been already said. Federal health officials are also concerned about a surge in cases among children. The American Academy of Pediatrics reports cases went from about 38,000 a week at the end of July to more than 180,000 last week. Iloa Bachi among those who believe that a vaccine age limit should include those under 12 years old. We have data that's being looked at right now, both from Pfizer and Moderna, to try and get that vaccine age down as low as five and maybe even lower than that to six months. Once that data is out, we can stop the increasing trend of children becoming uh, infected with COVID-19. And new vaccination drives continue to be announced each day. This coming, as state officials say more than 4,000 New Yorkers tested positive for coronavirus in the last 24 hours. Dan. Antoine, thank you very much.